Harry, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm packing. I'm prepping for Doomsday. Connie told me it was coming. Right, but what what are you packing? Uh, the ne- you know, the necessities. Connie said we're facing absolute catastrophe. Potentially nuclear winter. Harry, what necessities? It's a sleeve of crackers, a dice tray, and a portrait of Reiner Knizia. Hey, you have your priorities. I have mine. Harry, this isn't really your proudest moment. All, all Connie meant was that we were going to play Doomlings. Oh. Uh, well, uh, this might be a little bit awkward. <laughs> Doomlings is a hand management card game that has a variety of elements including set collection, a little bit of take that, and event reaction. Hey, uh, Eloquence, how can I find the uh, right words to say for this review? So the trick is, say the right thing, then stop talking. Uh, Also at World's End, play another trait, ignore its action. Fair. In Doomlings, you'll be playing cards each round that represent the traits of your Doomling species that is preparing for catastrophe and the impending doom of their planet. You'll collect points as you play traits that are either sets to collect, game manipulating, or just provide straight points that you'll count towards your victory. One thing that's really nifty is throughout the game, you're going to be warding off and prepping for disaster with a constantly fluctuating hand size limit. As far as theming is concerned, you have a bunch of cute little characters in the form of traits that are needed to prepare yourself for Doomsday. The humor is meta and very ironic, with silly flavor text that, depending on your sense of humor, can range from a little bit goofy to delightfully random. It's actually the kind of game where you could even play trying to collect traits that you have for fun. To be honest, I think that topic of sense of humor will honestly determine your enjoyment for the game. Because while this kind of game is honestly not a type of game that I'm drawn to personally, I find that each time I've played Doomlings, I keep enjoying it more. Because at the end of the day, it's the kind of game that you really can't take too seriously. It has a very obvious intended audience type. But at the same time, it does have some elements of more hobby games that I actually think it will be great for people who aren't used to them. Bit of an accidental introduction, because this is the kind of game that I think the average person who's not in the hobby will pick up off of shelves, and I hope they do, because it does give a nice little taste of what other games can be like. Now, all in all, from the in-game humor to the real world, one thing that I really appreciate about Doomlings is its self-awareness. Not just in the tongue-in-cheek humor, because that's there for the uh, traits themselves in the game, but the fact that in the rules alone, the game does acknowledge that there are aspects of it that may not be for everyone. Because this kind of game, whether it is because of the humor or because of some of the punishing elements of the events and the cards that are in there, the take that-isms, can be a turnoff for certain types of players who may appreciate different things in their games. In fact, there's even a card or two that I'm not particularly fond of in the game. But that's the point we're getting to. The game makes a point of emphasizing customization. It encourages making the game fit you and your play style, and that you could omit a card or two if it's something you don't want to incorporate in your game. Additionally, I have to admit, I love the little characters, all the little creatures. That aspect of the marketing really does work for me, I'll admit. And this may be a little bit on character for me personally, you know, because of... While playing the game and looking through all the little critters and the expansions and uh, other merch as well, all I can imagine is coming up with fun little voices to do for these fellas. I mean, it looks like a treasure trove for voice impressions and character acting. All in all, I think Doomlings has more to offer than some might expect. It can be punishing, and maybe it's not for everyone. But it's a fun little game that I think will excel with the right groups. And if you're not used to games in the hobby, and maybe you don't know anyone who is, this is a, this is a fine place to start giving you quite a bit of game, but making it customizable to fit your needs. I was really impressed that the game has player aids in it, because that's not something that folks who may only be used to games like Monopoly and Uno would expect in a game. But it's right there, and it's there to help remind you of some of the rules, mechanisms, and game ideas that you may not be used to. Thanks to Doomlings for providing us with a copy so we could get a chance to play it, and give us an opportunity to tell you a little bit more about it, and I hope you check it out. If you already have played it, please let me know in the comments below what you think of Doomlings. And, you know, as my friend Viral says, Like, share, comment, and be sure to smash that subscribe button. And of course, to play board games like an animal.